Time to go further beyond the TV and onto the big screen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Dragon Ball Z movies. No, didn't think so. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at DBZ's cinematic outings and TV specials and ranking them on how well they stand up by themselves as well as reflect on the legacy of this classic anime. Prepare yourself for Super Saiyans and Super Spoilers. Number 10, Super Android 13. <laughs> If the series taught us anything, it's that you can never have enough androids. Following on from his death, the remnants of Dr. Jiro's uploaded consciousness unleash a brand new trio of killer machines for Goku and company to contend with. We were created by Dr. Jiro's computer. Now his computer's trying to kill me? The film isn't exactly elaborate in its plot, but considering it's such a big barrel of fun, you won't have time to notice. <laughs> How often do you see Goku getting pummeled by an android who, let's be honest, is nothing more than a superpowered trucker? Here apparently. <laughs> Number 9, Wrath of the Dragon. Oh, I was telling the truth. His hero does exist. We sure some fans were pleased to see the implications of how Trunks ended up with his signature sword, and we won't deny Tapion's tragedy did make for a compelling viewing experience, but for the most part, we're here to see Super Saiyan 3 Goku take on the might of a giant dra- uh, ins- you know, insect thing, I, I don't know. Our problem just got a lot bigger. <laughs> Hirudagon's size, scope, and power made for quite the obstacle, but it wasn't anything a little Dragon Fist couldn't solve. Dragon Seriously, that technique is so spellbinding that we could easily watch it on loop. Number 8, Cooler's Revenge. I can see how Frieza might have underestimated this one. He's somehow different from the rest. Could he be a Super Saiyan? So yeah, Frieza has an older brother, and while there's obviously no love lost between the two, this deadly foe does make it his business to eliminate the one who defeated his sibling as proof of his superiority. They can't hide forever, they'll come out sooner or later. I don't like these games any more than you do. I would just rather blow up this wretched planet. While Kula doesn't exactly have the same gravitas or legacy as Freezer, he does have a pretty awesome final form, one that actually managed to get in a few good hits on Goku, at least until he discovered the legend of the Super Saiyan was actually true. All right then, we'll play by your rules, Cooler. Let's go! <laughs> From there, it wasn't long before he ended up joining his bro six feet under. <laughs> Number 7, Bojack Unbound. We're not sure what happened to Gohan in between his fight with Cell and heading off to college, but our favorite Saiyan offspring certainly seemed to lose a lot of that primal rage. Booyah, that's my son. For those of you that missed the teen who didn't hesitate to massacre Cell Juniors without blinking, have no fear, because this flick is all about our boy kicking ass. With Goku still kicking it in the afterlife, it's down to his son to take on the threat of a would-be galactic conqueror. Trust us when we say how satisfying it is to see Gohan once again let Super Saiyan 2 out of the bag. Number 6, Resurrection F. Freezer's back, baby. 
While not quite managing to live up to the awesomeness of its predecessor, the Alien Tyrant's return was still a very welcome sight. <laughs> Destroying a city is such a fun way to say hello. Not only did it reinforce Freezer's place as the most entertaining and vicious foe Goku has ever faced, but it also opened up the gateway for a whole new bunch of transformations. <laughs> His power, it's amazing! Golden Freezer's entrance, along with the revelation that is Super Saiyan Blue, were both rousing successes, each helping to pave the way for the reveal of DBZ's true successor series in the form of Dragon Ball Super. Hey, just take it easy, Vegeta, that's not what it looks like! Number 5, Bardock, the father of Goku. <sighs> <sighs> His tale may not have been that of a hero, but it was nonetheless a vital part in DBZ history. <laughs> Originally nothing more than a bloodthirsty warrior, Bardock's entire life changed when he found himself imbued with psychic abilities, which just so happened to clue him in on how Frieza was about to make their home planet of Vegeta go kaboom. How bizarre! It's as clear as day! I can go inside of his mind. Despite his best efforts, he's unable to stop events from coming to pass, perishing in the fire of Frieza's overwhelming power. However, he is given some solace when he foresees his son eventually stand up to his killer. Who would have guessed Goku had such a badass dad? Frieza, listen up! We quit! All of us! Got it? We don't work for you! Number 4 Brawly, the legendary Super Saiyan. That's the energy I was following! You know it, we know it. Brawly is one of the most badass villains to ever grace the franchise, even if he is nothing more than an overwhelming mass of muscles and screams. With an unnatural hatred of Goku, in the short time he was on screen, Broly wasted no time in plowing his way through most of the cast with absolute ferocity. If you wish not to fight back, I understand, but I am going to destroy this planet no matter what! Decimating opponents left and right, it's a miracle that Goku managed to land that finishing blow when he did. Sure, it's not like we had seen the last of Broly, but nowhere is his savagery more on display than in his debut. <laughs> Number 3, The History of Trunks Here you go, Trunks. First, you stand there and watch while I almost drown, and then you offer me a towel? Yep. Android 17 and 18 were certainly powerful foes, even strong enough to cripple a Super Saiyan Vegeta without any worry. That being said, we weren't as petrified of them as Trunks seemed to be. Then we saw this special, and we saw everything in a new light. One. Set in an alternative future, we finally get to explore Trunks' origins and how he managed to access the Super Saiyan within. <laughs> The loss of his mentor Gohan, watching this world turn to ruin by 17 and 18's genocidal rampages, after bearing witness to such horrors, we have a whole different level of respect and sympathy for the time traveler. Why? I don't get it. Tell me, why are you two doing this? Number 2 Fusion Reborn. <laughs> The clue is in the title. Sure, the villain may not exactly be the best that Dragon Ball has to offer, but we can easily let that slide in a film focused around Goku and Vegeta busting out a new fusion. We have to do fusion, Vegeta. You know better, fusion. I'll never join bodies with you, clown! While Vegeta was a great character in his own right, ever since we learned the fusion dance was a thing, we were all waiting to see what the results would be if the series' most famous rivals were to pull it off. Every force you create has an echo. Your own bad energy will be your undoing. As expected, Gogeta turned out to be a total beast, with the only thing more devastating than his Stardust Breaker being the banter between Vegeta and Goku. <laughs> Ah! 
Number one, Battle of Gods. Just when you thought the series was dead, just when you thought that Dragon Ball GT had flushed it all away, out comes this glorious flick. With a narrative packed with all the elements that made Dragon Ball Z special, plus a somewhat hilarious, somewhat terrifying antagonist in the form of Beerus, Battle of Gods breathed new life into the beloved franchise with its comedic beats, fluid animation, and epic action scenes. <laughs> The fact that the whole thing served as the foundation for the transition to Dragon Ball Super is just one more reason why it soared to the top of every fan's list. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.